Hey folks, welcome to this week's edition of Brush Pile Fishing. It is a cool, cool fall morning here in the Turtle Flambeau Flowage up in northern Wisconsin. We're coming to you from Donner's Bay. We're going to do a show here today. You know, yesterday when we left home, it was 91 degrees, and here they're calling for a high of about 70 today. It's about 48 degrees right now, so a big temperature change. Again, northern Wisconsin. We're going to be fishing with Jeff Robel. He's a guide on the lake, and uh, he says, well, we're going to be doing some vertical jigging, so I'm looking forward to it. You stay tuned. We'll be right back with Brush Pile Fishing. Many people look at a lake and feel a sense of calm serenity. Crappie fishermen feel the heart-pounding anticipation of the thump. That's why host Russ Bailey is addicted to crappie fishing. It's this addiction that takes Russ from the Midwest to the Deep South in search of the best lakes, techniques, and patterns from some of the best crappie anglers in the country. Right here on Brush Pile Fishing. Hey folks, welcome back to Brush Pile Fishing, coming to you from the Turtle Flambeau Flowage here in northern Wisconsin, and I'm with Guy Jeff Robel. Jeff, how are we doing today? Pretty good. Good morning, uh, Russ. A little bit cooler here than when we left Ohio, bud. Yeah, it was. I think it was 47 when I got up. Okay, so it's kind of bad, but <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, yesterday we uh, we got up here yesterday afternoon, and it would rain for a half hour, and then it'd be beautiful sunshine, and then rain again. But I heard you had two days of rain now. Yeah, two days. It's, I think the water levels come up just a little bit. It's been pretty low, which is typical in the fall. Yeah. Um, can you tell the folks at home, what are we going to try to do today? Well, we're going to be fishing a deeper wood structure for crappies. The crappies in the, this time of year, mid-September, are usually in deeper water, anywhere from uh, 15 to 20 feet. Uh, we'll, we'll probably try some uh, cribs, which is a man-made structure, okay. and then some, uh, some deep natural wood structure on the edge of river channels, some of the original river channels. Okay. What kind of water temperature is we looking at right uh, now? Yesterday was about 60. It's, okay. it's dropped pretty fast in the last couple of weeks. That rain will do that, won't it? Yeah, and, and the colder nights. Okay, first time in Wisconsin, folks. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's Here get them. Here we It's a long winter up here. Oh, I'm <laughs> not ready for bad. winter yet. Need some more days in the 70s would be nice. There we go. That might be a little bit better fish. That might be a crappie. That's what I'm talking about. That's a nice one. There we go. He was about a foot off the bottom, folks, and we just caught Jeff. You said we moved a little bit deeper in about 16 foot. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Nice job, Russ. Thank you, sir. That was on that 10 foot rod? That was on the 10 and a half. You got her, buddy. Nice. <laughs> that came on the crappie magnet, and we had a little Berkeley crappie number one. You know, they got those thin mouths. But if you're jig fishing, like, like if you ever watch me, I set that hook hard on them. Yeah. It'll put it right through the top part. You won't lose very many. There we go. That's got to be a crappie. He thumped her. Oh yeah, look at there, folks. You can tell by the thump. <laughs> you don't think he wanted that slab magnet? Look at that. Oh man, that's such a good feeling. That'll warm you up real quick. <laughs> nice fish, Russ. You know, I was telling you about setting a hook hard and it puts it through the top part of the mouth. Yeah. Those are hard to get out of. And if you set it light, that's when it'll come in this softer part. Okay. I know you said you guide for several species. Yeah, I do a lot of uh, this this body of water. The predominant fish is is walleyes. Uh, it has a really good uh, smallmouth fishery and a, and a good crappie fishery, and um, and perch. And it's it's uh, very well known. I do some musky guiding. It's it's well known for musky fishing. So it, it has a 
a pretty diverse fishery. Folks, if you just joined us, we're on the Turtle Flambeau Flowage here in northern Wisconsin. We're in the second week of September and it's a little bit chilly. We started out, it was about 46, 47 degrees. We got a little breeze. But we're just getting started and you know, he talked about the different species. We've caught a perch so far, bluegill, we've caught rock bass, and we've caught crappie. So no walleye or muskie yet. <laughs> but it's early. It's early. It's early. <laughs> Beautiful fish. I'll tell you what, the color, that light gold tint. Still to come, more brush pile fishing action. War Eagle Boats, the most versatile line of hunting and fishing aluminum boats available. We strive to overcome real hunting and fishing obstacles, which drives us to create better products in the future. Check out the Blackhawk 2170, the ultimate crappie fishing boat. Built on a 22-degree V-Hull and paired with a 150-horsepower motor, you get lots of space and performance. All War Eagle Boats are built to suit the needs of our customers, guaranteeing you a boat worthy of the investment. Visit WarEagleBoats.com to get your started today. B&M Poles. That's a three pound crappie. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Got it. Whether you're jigging, trolling, pulling, or pushing, B&M has your pole. My signature series rod. Third generation family company with over 70 years experience. Home to the Bucks Graphite Jig Poles. The first and best selling graphite jig pole in the U.S. for over 35 years. B&M Poles. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Hey folks, Russ Bailey here for Brush Pile Fishing. We are here in Kentucky at Cornfield Crappie with Mark Riddle. Mark, how we doing? Good, Russ. How are you? I'll tell you what, you just rigged our boat. Absolutely great products you have. Can you tell the folks about all you have to offer? We got our monitor mounts. We got a new bridge. The thing we've done the most with has been the cable saver. We've actually sold them worldwide. We got a mount to put the live scope on the trolling motor. There you have it, folks. Cornfield Crappie. If you want the boat that looks good, Cornfield Crappie. Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by these amazing companies. Grand Lake St. Mary's, Crappie USA, NKT.TV, Rockport Rattler, Power Pole, Bonehead Tackle, Cornfield Crappie. There we go. Got him that time. That's a crappie, it's a good one. Might be a walleye. Oh no, that's, look at there. Holy that's a cow. Beauty. Whew, that's that's a big crappie. Oh my gosh. There we go. Nice fish, Russ. Crappie magnet, folks. Again, look at that. And if you don't think they've got nice fish in the northern states, look at there, folks. And you're not gonna get this color everywhere either. Again. Hate to keep bringing it up, but that just gold tint is just beautiful coming out of this clear water. Rockport Rattler, I got a little sound on there. I've got the crappie nibbles, and then the slab magnet. That's the second one on the slab magnet. Bigger bait, and look at there. He wanted it. Look at that fish, doggone. I'm a, li a live bait guy, Russ, mostly crawlers and leeches and minnows, and. You're, uh, schooling, <laughs> you're schooling me today with that fake stuff. <laughs> well, there's the one they like, and that's a big plastic, too. That's yeah. not a little tiny finesse bait. Get him? Yep. Another crappie? Another crappie? Not quite as big as yours, but that's all right. <laughs> hey, that's all right. First spot we've come to that we've caught two in the same spot. That's yeah. a good sign. Yeah, it's been a lot of moving around so far. There you go. Nice fish. Yep. So Jeff, how long have you been guiding up here? Uh, this is my ninth season. Okay. Good area up here. Beautiful country, that's for sure. It's some pretty area. The, the uh, flowage is about, well, 12,400 acres and almost 95% uh, almost of the shoreline is undeveloped. It's owned by the state. Okay. In 1990, the the state bought the land from the uh, what from Xcel Energy. Uh, Xcel Energy retained the right to control the water flow through the dam. Uh, they generate uh, they have hydro further down river. Um, so yeah, it's a, quite a, a treasure for the state of Wisconsin. 
Uh, but the two main rivers that, that created this body of water uh, were the, the Turtle River, which flows in from the north, and we're fishing the north arm, arm of the flowage, so this, what we're fishing on the edge of would have been the Turtle River. Okay. And then the, the, on the east end, by Murray's Landing, the Flamble River comes in, and the confluence of those two rivers is, is out in front of the dam. So when they built the dam, it, it you know backed up all this area. There's a lot of different type of structure to fish out here. There's, there's rock structure, there's wood, there's weeds. Uh, there is some man-made structure, those cribs we were talking about. So it, it's never boring fishing out here. There's a lot of different type of things. I think I've got about 1,500 waypoints in my, in my uh, thing. So there's kind of an endless amount of spots to find <laughs> out here. Turtle Flambeau Flowage, dubbed the crown jewel of the north, is an expansive 18,900 acre lake with 220 miles of shoreline dedicated to wildlife preservation. The flowage provides excellent walleye, crappie, muskie, and bass fishing. Mercer, Wisconsin is also the loon capital of the world. Visit Donner's Bay Resort on the Turtle Flambeau Flowage and you will find six on-site cabins, a mobile home, and a home to rent. They also have a full service bar with food and the only gas pump on the main part of the flowage. Donner's Bay Resort is located on Iron County Snowmobile and ATV Trail number nine. Donner's Bay Resort has it all. Marvin and Connie invite you to stop in for some Southern hospitality in the great North Woods. Please follow us on Facebook and call to book your next adventure. What we're doing, folks, we're starting out in about 14 foot of water and just fishing off the main river, some brush piles that have been here over the years. Water temperature right now, what we got? There? 60 and a half. 60 and a half. So it's, it's cold compared to, you know, Ohio's not that far away and we're still up in the 80s water temperature wise. It, uh... It usually gets in the, in a warm summer, it'll, it'll get into the upper 70s, but that's about as warm as it gets. Yeah. What we're doing, folks, we've got some minnows out, we've got some bobbers. Um, I'm using the crappie magnet and the slab magnet. And I've just got those tipped with Berkeley crappie nibbles and caught a couple fish right off the bat with them. Introducing NKT.TV, a brand new solution for the cord cutting generation. With NKT.TV, viewers enjoy viewer specific programming with the ability to pick and choose the channels you wish to subscribe to. Missed brush pile fishing this week? Catch it on NKT.TV, along with all your other pursuit channel favorites. NKT.TV offers dozens of network and channel options for you, the viewer, to choose from. So go ahead, cut the cord, and get everything you want with nothing you don't. Visit NKT.TV today. The new home for your fishing needs is boneheadtackle.com. Get all the latest product information. Shop our new and improved tackle shop. We have baits for crappie, bass, striper, sand bass, saltwater and terminal tackle, bait styles and slim stick, stump bugs, brush gliders and bulk jig heads available. Check out our superior mono line, crankbaits for bass, and our top of the line carbon fiber fishing rods. Bonehead Tackle, family owned business with one goal in mind. Make fishing more fun and help all anglers catch more fish. We put the Rock 4 Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rock 4 Rattler. The result, the Rock 4 Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rock 4 Rattler, gray haze. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rock 4 Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell for fish. If you don't have a Rock 4 Rattler, you ain't catching crappy. Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by these outstanding sponsors. B&M Poles, over 70 years of quality and performance. War Eagle, 
built for hunters who love to fish. Suzuki, the ultimate four-stroke outboard. Slimeline, catch the fever. Crappie magnet, sore lip them all. Jeff, what kind of size limits and number limits do they have here? They have, for panfish, they have a 10 fish aggregate. So if you had five bluegills and five crappies, that's a limit, or five perch and five crappies. And uh, then the, 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 there's a minimum size for crappies. The, the minimum is 10 inches. Okay. And it, that combination of the size limit and the, uh, and the, the you know, lower bag, the 10 fish limit, has is, is really helped the panfish out here. Now the crappie we've caught today, they've been black crappies. Is that predominantly what you have here? Yes. You find for the crappies, Russ, you're better just uh, you're not doing a lot of jigging up and down. You're mainly just... Yeah, and if, if you watch what I'm doing, I'll just kind of pop it every once in a while and then just let it set. Especially with these fronts that you guys have had coming in, they're not going to want a lot of movement, so I'm just kind of holding it steady right off the bottom. The other thing I was going to tell you, you know, I'm using these crappie nibbles. Normally, I never start out with any scent. I go to it if I need it, but I knew today was going to be tough. The, thing, the other thing I've noticed is if I don't have a nibble on, say if they hit it and I miss the fish and that nibble's off, I won't get struck again. Really? So, yeah. Yep. Which is telling you they're not too aggressive? Right, right. There we go. That's going to be a crappie too. And that's going to be a decent one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that folks. Another dandy. Well, he ate it too. I'm telling you, they are tearing that slab magnet up. Look at that. Oh, and that's two in a row. Look at where that bait's at. And the thing is, I was telling Jeff earlier, you set that hook hard when you're jig fishing, puts it right up through the top part of that mouth. That fish, not going, it's not going anywhere, folks. I'm getting a bite again over here. That's something big. I don't know what it is. I think it's a big crappie. Oh. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I swam around my other line. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this spot has had three absolute hogs now. That's a good fish. Nice fish. Been a good little stop right here. <laughs> yeah, it has. There he goes. That's a crappie. They're a little bit closer at buoy now, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Oh, another nice fish. Nice fish. Bring him on in. Look at there. So this, this spot we're fishing, we're, we're right on the edge of the, we're in about 16 feet of water, right on the, on the edge of the river channel. If we were to cast a jig, it'd land in about 20 feet of water. And there's a, a lot of good wood structure uh, right down there on the edge of the channel here. And the fish are relating to those logs and, and remnant stumps from trees from years ago. That's a crappie, that's a nice one. Oh, nice fish. Yeah, look at there. Wow, that's a big one. Slab daddy. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Beauty. Thank you, sir. And that's on the double tail crappie magnet. Oh, God. These are nice fish, folks. Northern Wisconsin in the middle of September. Oh first trip here it has been outstanding this morning we have caught some absolute slab black crappie <laughs> For great fishing, check out Grand Lake St. Mary's. Located in West Central Ohio, if you're looking to land bass, catfish, crappie, perch, or bluegill, Grand Lake is the place for you. Check out greatergrandlakeregion.com.
just want to introduce that the new Brush Pile Fishing Store carries all the gear that I use in the Brush Pile Fishing Show. Just go to www.brushpilefishing.com and check out the crappie shop and find jigs, apparel, line, nets, b and poles, and so much more. In the sale and clearance sections, you'll find deep discounts on the gear that will help you put more fish in your boat. That's brushpilefishing.com. You know, folks, one thing that uh, we knew going in, it might be a tough bite today because of the fronts that have been through the area. Um, but we've caught some quality fish. But the one thing, they don't want a lot of movement. And if you notice, starting out, I caught a few fish with the rod in hand. I was jigging just a little bit. But even then, I was just popping it and then letting it set still. So I've actually went to them just laying those jig rods down and watching the tips of those poles. They want that jig just sitting there like that. And again, with that crappie magnet, especially on the slab magnet, that tail is still quivering by itself just with the boat movement. You know, we as crappie anglers, I think sometimes if we're jig fishing, you know, we always hear about the great action this jig has. So we're sitting there and we're doing this, doing that. Let that jig do the work by itself. Just slow down what you're doing sometimes. Now, a brush pile tip. You know, folks, one common myth up in the northern states is um, especially if you're in clear water, you've got to have super, super small jigs because a fish will get spooked or whatever, or our crappie aren't as big as in the south. But you know what? Today, I'm using this slab magnet. That is a big, big bait, okay? It's big body-wise, length-wise. Um, I've got the Rockport Rattler on there. I've been using 1 16th and 1 8th ounce jig heads. And this water is clear. We're in northern Wisconsin. It doesn't get much clearer than the water is now. And the fish that have hit this thing, they have absolutely pounded it. So again, think big baits. If you have to downsize, go ahead and do it. But even in clear water, don't be afraid to use something like that. There he goes. That's a good one. Crappie? I think so. Oh yeah. Oh, nice fish. Oop. A pretty nice fish, huh? That's yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby. It's, it's lo his lucky day. You guys aren't paying customers <laughs> eating fish. <laughs> and now, the brush pile gear check. The equipment we were using, starting out with the rods, um, I was using both my 10 and a half and 8 foot signature series by B&M. Super sensitive rod, and some of the bites, they thumped it, some of it was just barely tapping it. We could feel everything on these rods. Um, as far as the line, I went with a four pound high vis. Uh, that's the slime line. I wanted something pretty, pretty small in diameter because of the clarity of the water here. And a lot of your northern lakes are like that. As far as the jigs, uh, we were using the regular crappie magnets and these slab magnets. The slab magnets ended up catching more than anything today, and they are a big bait. We matched that with a 1 16th, and I also used the 1 8th Rockport Rattler. Super nice jig head. It actually has rattles in the port. Now we're adding sound. We added Berkeley crappie nibbles for scent, but I like that big body bait. That's the gear check. Simple rig, but it was dynamite today on these slabs. There's one. Did you feel it on that rod, dude? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a crappie. Crappie on the jig. Not a bad one. I think you're starting to like those jigs, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Folks, we actually started out, I told you Jeff is a, a live bait fisherman because he mainly fishes for walleye and he had minnows on, but you can see there's no minnow rods anymore. He's got the B&M and &M <laughs> just fishing with the, the jig. And having fun doing it. <laughs> Nothing like feeling that hit, huh? No, that's pretty cool. Give Jeff a call. He'd love to have you up here, and you would absolutely love it. Between the scenery and the fishing and the hospitality at Donner's, it's been a great trip. Wisconsin, first trip. I won't forget it. It's been great. Jeff, thanks a lot, buddy. Thank, thank you, Russ. It was a pleasure. All right. Hope you enjoyed it, folks, and you stay tuned, because we'll be back next week with Brush Pile Fishing. For more Brush Pile fishing excitement, find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.